Your mom. You have to help me, man. This shit is burning my skin. Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent. I swear. You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. She could have fallen it. and hit her Jenkins head because her. of the thing. Jerry Jenkins, the guy from TV. You have to believe me. You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free. He's the one who killed Casey. They met here yesterday. Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit. But I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead. And I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And gotcha. Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! <laughs> oh, God. Well, then we have video evidence. There is a hammer. Blood type. Okay. Make a way where there is no way. Well, that's pretty cut and dried then, isn't it? So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. I'm glad I got a little bit more stuff. I'm going to have to go around, aren't I? Oh, no. There's a little space here. I can't let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. 
Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I seen you on TV. You're glitching again. Ah, it hurts. For fuck's sake, it hurts. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Yeah, I know. This is where Soap is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole Right. Scene. A bit rude he forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. It's Nuke. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. Can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> Go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. All right. Well, that's good enough there. We can warn all this now. New King. It appears that we are facing the birth of a new drug empire, although Cain, the drug lord and creator of Nuke, is dead and his cult has been dissolved. The drug factories continue to operate. As Nuke continues to ravage the streets of Detroit, it looks like someone has succeeded Cain. The question is, who sat on the drug king's throne and what the city authorizes... What? What the city authorities and police will do about it. So, uh, Kane is the. Shouldn't there be a big line in here? Kane is the villain from Robocop 2. So, this canonically takes place after, but before Robocop 3, when everything was stupid. Like, just Robocop 3 deserves to just kind of go away. It's not great. He has, like, wings, he has, like, a jetpack, and then. They kill Lewis off in like the first ten minutes. Like it's just a, it's just lame. Wait, I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer 
was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Pickles. Was it an old slaughterhouse where Alex Murphy got killed? On the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? No? Justice never sleeps. Oh, it's the. F I didn't get to keep my gun. That's too bad. Maybe I need to up the camera sensitivity. Uh, we'll, we'll put it up to 80. Yep, this is better. At the old bean factory? But there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Look, I found crime evidence. Evidence of a crime. The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. I will take this. Probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Probable cause confirmed. Let's do this shit. Smoke him if we got him. This building is clear. Let's head outside. I am still searching for crime. Let's do it. I wasn't expecting to find and murder Soot so quickly. But I guess they did put in New Guy as a villain. Hello. You'll make a fine trophy. Or not. You're okay there, Murphy? Behind you! Up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. 
Looks like I need a better, uh, bigger caliber because she could take him down in one shot where I have to hit him multiple times with a triple burst. Yeah. I'm invincible! Not so much. Careful. Wait. Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. Yeah, I don't have it quite yet. But that is going to be very useful. Uh, exceeding four doses of nuke per shift. Riding on conveyor belts, working on working without a face mask, will be punished with one day of detox. I mean it. Can't get can't have people getting high on their own supply. That won't do. Twiz, uh, twill won't do. What? I'm saying something. I know I am. Not bad, not bad. And for some reason they store stuff for me to get repaired. Nah. But, you know, Robocop's programming is a perfect way to build in that sort of gamey thing of you're not allowed to go in here. It's like, yeah, Robocop's not allowed to go in there. Warrant, shut up. <laughs> I've got eyes on this page. Looks like they haven't realized we're here yet. Look here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Something like that. Here we go. Shoot him from the audience. Now, 
and the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. But stay right there, everybody. I think it's really funny that the dialogue proves that it was just a track. I'm gonna do my best. I'm coming for you, soot. Great chip. Okay. How do I how do I deal with those? I can't slot them anywhere. Maybe I can slot them in the gun once I have a circuit board. Still do this. I just need to concentrate. I need some nuke. I'll reload. Everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. <laughs> Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get anything out of the Torchhead's top dog, that's quite a grip you got there. Yeah? So. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna kill you for this. Are you? He Oh, I can't like hit him with it. Yourself out. That's not even mine. Ah! <laughs> I've got the chair. Oh, I'm going to hit you with another guitar. That stuff doesn't come cheap! Yeah, well. Yesterday someone sent a stripper for my birthday. I went to... I want to find out that this kind soul and thank them in my special way. I want to burn the date of my birth... of my actual birthday on his forehead. It's 5-11. Not yesterday. Some fan you are. I know what that means. You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. Yeah, well, I took your shit. 
Enjoy, Chipper Brains. No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! I don't understand what you want me to do, game. Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! That's enough! I'll talk! Okay. Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Time to meet the new guy. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess! Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Hmm. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. I take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I see no, no. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? No. Well, that's not good. What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Okay. Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? Have you ever seen me? You know I walk fucking slow. What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Not exactly. Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Uh, it's the new guy in town. Welcome He's gonna shoot you. To Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Them wanting more. That's a lighter you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. No. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. <sighs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Kablams. Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. Duh. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. Ha! Huh. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. 
What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. This is the better Murphy, Robocop 3. <laughs> this is just the better. Head. Like her. I'm liking the no story so far. This is good. No leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. Nice. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? Kind of. I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. His, his glitches have all been in action, though. Button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. Yeah, that's kind of why I have one. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. That's, that's interesting. Which one? Alex Murphy is the real My answer. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation?
I am a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. I was given a second chance and resurrected inside this metal shell. Clinical death and waking up in a body that is not quite yours is a first for me too. In a patient, that is. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. Hello. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand, you must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was- Did you get it shot off with a shotgun? A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized Wait, me. Wait, no, 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 no. Ed 209 was never... Moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. No, that's incorrect. You shouldn't do that. Do you fear us? Because they were I never actually the applied. The they only had two. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. I find it unprofessional that what happened to you shouldn't have happened because they weren't ever put snap? into full production. BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. Noise. I did not discover the arcade owner's connections. Oh well. I got a... Hooray. So I'm gonna have a couple points then. I'm gonna have, oh, I think it said just five. That's great. Three, okay, three is fine. We're at deduction level two, I think. Yes. Okay. Cool. Robo, there's something I need to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The e. Auto Nine can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in. You'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. Nice. See for yourself. Insert a chip into an empty slot on your motherboard. These chips have different types of connections that boost low and boost levels. Use them to power other system areas and upgrade your Auto 9. Avoid rate components, reducers, which lower the weapon stats. Okay. I can put damage up 18% just starting off. That's pretty good. Magazine capacity. Oh, got it. Okay.
So then that opens up all of these. Do I have a right corner? This is an interesting upgrade system. I've never seen one like this. Full auto mode, continuously fires rounds when the trigger is pulled. That's nice. How would that even work? To get rid of the 5% penalty here. Increase the volume of gore visual effects. Why not? Uh, let's see. So for this one, we need basically straight through. Right? Yeah, that one doesn't work. This is an interesting one. Eighteen percent on the reload speed, why not? I don't know how to get to this without taking the penalty. Like that one I can figure out. So that gives me the damage, but I can't get to full auto without hitting this 5% penalty. Hmm. Okay. Interesting.
Eh. It does give me 15% armor piercing. Be on the lookout. And There's none of those decisions. Everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man. That takes guts. Those are just straight old motherboards. Nice. And half finished pizza. Ooh, pizza. Now for something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielson, Prime Minister of Norway, who was brutally murdered during last year's parliamentary session, is expecting a baby. It's a girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'll see you guys next time. Your move, creep.